5D simulations are the combination of the BIM model plus time plus cost. We consider this completely leveraged integration, the 5D virtual BIM model that everyone should have. As you can see here, the simulation of the building being erected, consistent with the area key plans that we just showed you. If you notice in the lower right, you'll see the timeline moving along, consistent with the schedule and the actual work in place. As the model's being built, it's, we can rotate it and manipulate it, and now that it's completed, we can look underneath and see the earthwork and the utilities, and the model is complete in its whole. Now, we can go and look at the Gantt chart, or the timeline, and we can identify any particular line item, and we can highlight that work in the model. As you see, the model goes somewhat transparent, and we can see that scope of work, which happens to be columns at the third level. Not only can we observe these, but we can zoom in and identify the individual element, and we can see what recipes, quantities, methods, tasks, and other critical information about that element. We can also go back and restore the model, and now we can see that element in its finished location and do further reviews as to any impacts that may be associated with other parts of the structure. As we zoom back out, we'll now move to something that you'll find very interesting. We'll turn on our section tools. We like to refer to this as the glass box. And you'll notice that the model is suspended in a glass box that has six sides. All of the sides are cutting planes, which can be moved in and out to produce perfect longitudinal, transverse, and compound sections. We'll turn the section tool off and we'll zoom in and look at the transverse section that we just cut at a random location. As we zoom in closer we can see some reshores, we can see fire sprinklers, we can see other elements of the building. Now let's turn our section tools back on. We'll zoom back out. and we'll restore the model back to its original position by moving the cutting planes back out. Now, not only can we do transverse and longitudinal sections, but we can also tilt the panels for a compound section. In this case, we'll tilt it to about 25 degrees. We'll turn off our section tool and we'll zoom in, and as you can see, we've created a perfect compound transverse section, which allows us to look at the building in a racked configuration. This ability can be used for numerous reviews and studies. Let's turn our section tool back on. We'll zoom out and we'll restore the model. We'll turn our section tool off, come back in, reposition the model. And now, we'll, we'll be briefly about this, but when we talk about cost and time, you'll see in this view, we can see the cost on any given day of the week, and we can change this to represent by line item, by task, however we'd like to review, whether it's revenue or cost. We can go back to our Gantt schedule, and we can sort this by groupings, which are predetermined by us. We can go back to any element again, highlight it, identify it in the structure, and begin the next review or constructability review.
Here's a comparison of the simulation, the 5D presentation, and the actual building in the upper right hand corner. The ultimate in communication and coordination. We've done 3D walkthroughs. This is a rendering, not a photograph. Instant representations of collaboration, coordination, and brainstorming. In this case, a night study, parametrics, photometrics is being done. We've seen 3D sections or marquees that can be rotated and reviewed. 5D real-time coordination simulations. And now we'd like to show you rendered fly-throughs. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. I say a virtual model is worth a million. This is the California State University Northridge Center for the Performing Arts. I'll let you just enjoy this quick video. And with that, should you need more information about virtual construction, feel free to contact either myself or Francisco Felix, our VC coordinator at Clorman Construction. Thank you.